Um, the foundation of the, of, of the technique is timing, balance, and position. And I think that's true for almost all positions. So, so uh, we're gonna go from half guard, but I guess before I even get to half guard, because like I said, uh, distance management and getting the top position are uh, to me important. So ideally, if I can, I'm gonna start out here and you know, as soon as I get in here and, and John's got, you know, sleeve grip or lapel grip and starts breaking my posture, I'm, I'm already kind of in a, in a bad spot. I'm fighting and this is really annoying. So first, I, if I can, I want to be out here. And as he's trying to grab sleeve grips and, and whatnot, I'm going to move and try to avoid those until I can get the position I want. Now, that's probably not going to be half guard. If I can, I'm going to get the pass. But <clears throat> I just wanted to point out that distance management thing because once we get in here, so the two things we're gonna show are from half guard, um, same thing kind of applies. If he's got me uh, lapel grip and got sleeve grips and got me kind of tied up here, then I'm not really gonna be able to work what I wanna work. So as soon as I get into this half guard position, I wanna start trying to control my posture and, and control where he's at. And, and you know, there's grip fighting that happens in judo. Well, same thing here, it's he's trying to grab my grip, uh, my sleeves, I'm gonna roll and try to beat him and grab his sleeves or whatever grip I'm gonna go for. So this first pass, half guard, I'm gonna, again, I'm postured up. Uh, I'm not too far forward at this point. I wanna weave through under his top leg and grab a pants grip on the bottom leg. And I can post the mat or I can just press it on his, on his leg. Um, but I kind of have his, his legs now tied up. And this is a, a good position if he's got the knee shield too. Um, so I've got both legs kind of tied up here. Uh, from here, I want to uh, reach in. I prefer the lapel. I can grab the sleeve, but really I want the lapel because I want to be able to kind of control his upper body and his ability to turn into me or, or close into me. So I want the lapel here. And what I'm going to do is uh, uh, lift up and get my, I want to get my knee onto his, onto his thigh here. So kind of like a knee slice pass and can think I, in case in fact, I think this might even be considered or called by somebody a knee slice pass. So I want the knee up on his thigh, and I want to use this shoulder to keep some pressure on this leg. So I've got the bottom grip, I've got pressure here that kind of ties up that leg, and now, even if he's still got the half guard, I've got this knee kind of up on his thigh. Now a normal knee slice, I'm going to slice this way. But with this pass, I'm not going to slice this way because he's probably going to prevent that. He's in here probably fighting with elbows and trying to prevent me from doing that. So what I'm going to do is drive out towards his knee and just kind of slide this way and out. Okay, I've got this grip here. And at the same time I'm doing this, I want to use my head as another limb to kind of keep him at bay here. So I'm pressing with my head. I've got my shoulder kind of pressing his top leg. I've got the lapel grip and I drove, drove my knee out. Now from here, live toes. I'm going to come around, I'm going to try to use my hips to set in here and drive his legs over to the other side. I don't want to get too high, so I want to use my hips if I can to get him back up over. Because what's going to happen is he's going to close this distance and try to fight me from getting in. So that's why this, this pinch here is kind of important. And then coming around live toes and using your hips to kind of feel your way in here, drive him back over. I think you drive him all the way over, that's even better. Once you're here, whatever you prefer to kind of settle in, work your way around to 100 kilos or whatever your favorite side control position is. Control. Now, I get started at the beginning. Once I kind of go for this and drive in, I eat up all the space and all the real estate and stay as tight and as much pressure as I can, both on the thigh, my head on his chest, nice and controlled. Any space I create is going to give him an opportunity to reset his guard.